quickly got the job, and then my employer found out I was a liar, they'd have a right to fire me. Yeah. No on the back of a pack of lies and for that reason they've got to be run out of power. There's a lot of talk of unions here today and we do have a few good unions but there's a lot of major unions out there who want to get their act together. And there's one way to make them do it. I'm involved in an organisation, and I know some people might think I'm a little bit obsessed with turf, but I'm involved in a serious battle. There's an organisation out there called the Turf Cutters and Contractors Association. And I suppose one of the major reasons why we came to be was because the union, who are meant to be representing war in Ireland, otherwise known as the IFA, have got too bloody cosy with the powers that be. Because they weren't representing us, we went out and we had meetings all over the country and we set up our own union. And as a result of setting up that union, we got listened to. I'm not saying we won, but we got their ear. We put four and a half thousand people outside the gates of Dáil Éireann. Now I know RTE said it was only 1,500 and I know they said I didn't even speak in the Dáil that day. But we won because we had the people behind them. It's all very well, you can ask your politician to march up to the top of a hill, but if they look around and there's no one behind them to fight with them, they don't stand a chance. And that's the reason why I think this campaign will win. It is ordinary people, young people, old people, rich people, poor people, middle class people, rural people, city people, all united together. And that is the reason why I think we will win this one. whole septic tank charges is one that we need to learn from. I'm not saying that's one either yet, but we've come some way. Initially, it started off that they were going to be charging rural people 300 euros a year. Then it was moved down to 50. Now it's moved down to a fiver. And the next fight we have to win is that we get treated in the same way as urban people. In the same way as a townie, which is what I am, was treated when my sewage treatment plant in Castle Ree didn't work anymore. They didn't come around to my house and threaten to imprison me for flushing my toilet. What they did was, they spent the money nationally, they created jobs, and my rural neighbours contributed to that. And as a result, I feel I should contribute to what they need to get done as well. It will not cost the country a fortune, and it will create jobs, and it will guarantee our water supply. That is the way they have to go. Now I'm sure at times you've tried to move a bit of furniture around your house and you've tried to move a heavy piece. The hardest part is to get it moving. The hardest part on the septic tank charge was to get it from 300 down to a fiver. But the more than when you get the piece of furniture moving, it's easy to push it around the floor. We've got movement, we've got to keep pushing, and eventually we will win. I'll finish off by quoting a hero of mine, a real trade unionist before unions came about, a man called Father Michael O'Flanagan, the first man ever to speak in the doll. And I'd say what he said, and it's still true to this day. You have been lied to for too long. You have been quiet for too long. And I'll finish it up. It's time to rise up and get